may not know me, so if you don't, my name is Elise. I'm originally from Montana. We have been homeschooling our kids for nine years, and I've worked from home now for 12 years um, and created multiple, multiple seven figures of income and have multiple, multiple streams of income. And um, I've been very sick the last year and a half. Many of you know this. Um, I am grateful to say that I now have discovered some of the reasons why. Um, one of them being some defective genes that I have and that makes me susceptible to biotoxins. And biotoxins, you guys, are created from fungus, from parasites, from bacteria, from viruses, from mold, etc. Basically, it builds up in my body. I don't excrete it. And so it's like I'm getting poisoned all the time. So I have to do a lot of things to support my body to detox. And so I do share a lot about that on my social media, on Instagram and here on Facebook. Um, I am still a passionate thriver and I love my business and I love our products and I had a tip I wanted to share with you guys on this video since I haven't been going live very often but I appreciate you clicking the share button or typing replay if you catch this later or just saying hello and tell me about the weather where you're at tell me about how your um, your self isolating is going and um, I wanted to show you something that I have found to be really helpful in my wellness journey and something that I've learned that applies to all of you and I'm going to tell you that you might be suffering from this and here's how you can find out if you are um, but basically if you wake up in the morning feel sluggish and tired like you haven't slept if you um, aren't tolerating alcohol very well you know what I'm saying? Like how, how many of you have found that if you drink uh, one drink, whereas you used to be able to drink maybe two drinks in a night and you're waking up feeling hungover the next day or like you have a headache or whatever, um, this could be a sign of a toxic liver. Um, another sign of a toxic liver is if you're having hormonal issues any hormonal issues because you guys, your liver is what helps to process the hormones out of the body. So if you're finding that you're having trouble with losing weight, if you're finding you're having trouble monthly with your cycle, if you are having trouble with moving your bowels, look, I'm just noticing my hair. Um, I have ocean hair. <laughs> it's still got the ocean water in it from swimming and a little bit humid. That's uh, my distraction. Anyway, Here's what I've learned that I wanted to share with you guys, and this is one of the products that I absolutely love, and it's called Balance. And I don't know if you know this, but if you all are Thrivers and you take Balance, if you do, please comment in the comments below um, uh, if you're taking this Balance or if you ever have taken this Balance and why you love it. But I don't know if you know this. <laughs> Part of what I've learned, though, in my wellness journey the last year and a half is a lot about the ancient medicinal approaches to wellness, and one of them being Ayurveda. Have you ever experienced Ayurveda? It is a 5,000 year old approach to health from India, okay? Um, another medicine that is, or I guess not medicine, but um, approach is called TSM, which is traditional Chinese medicine. And um, so anyway, the reason I bring up the Ayurveda and the Indian approach to wellness is because this product contains something called Trifala. How many of you know what Trifala is? I want you guys to look at your ingredients here. And if you haven't ever ordered this, you can of course look on our website. But um, Trifala is one of the first proprietary ingredients listed here because what it does is tones and strengthens your digestive system. It is also an antioxidant. So it's beautiful, it's tri trifle, it's three different fruits from India that they use and um, it is very nourishing for the digestive tract. And so this is a product that you will find really helps to heal if you've had issues in your, with your digestive system over the years that the reason that this works so well is because it has the trifala in it. It also has some herbs that help to get the um, digestive system moving because here's one thing you guys need to know, if you're not pooping one one to two times a day, two times optimally, then you're getting the stagnant, toxic, gross stuff in the gut. And it is stuck there. And you can have about eight pounds of this 
uh, build up in your intestinal wall. They call it, um, oh, oh man, what's the word? It's escaping me now. I'll, I'll have to comment it later. If you guys know what I'm talking about, though, type it in the comments here so it can jog my memory. <laughs> uh, but basically what it is, is you get this like stagnant poop <laughs> that gets stuck in your colon. And uh, another part that I've learned in my journey is about parasites. And I want you all to know that likely you have them. You're probably sitting there going, what in the world are you talking about? But it is true. If you have ever eaten fresh produce, if you've ever eaten at a restaurant or eaten out, if you've ever traveled, if you've ever had sushi, <laughs> if you've ever um, had a stomach bug, how many of you have been to Mexico or anywhere else and had food poisoning? Here's the truth. Once you've had these situations, um, or if you've ever had parasites in the past, you become much more likely to be susceptible to uh, them again in the future. And one thing I've learned is our Western medicine model does not address parasites like it should, especially when we look at the uh, medical models in other countries. And so, all of these things can weigh down on your immune system. The funny thing is, as I started talking about parasites, you guys, a bunch of viewers just dropped off. This is too funny. So if you're still here, say, hi, I'm still here. <laughs> or click the share button if you know someone who has some weird symptoms that they're not getting over. Because really, um, treating for parasites is definitely something that's helped me on this journey. And again, this product balance with Trifol <coughs> Trifola in it has been so helpful because you want to keep the colon moving. Now, how does this relate to this whole um, coronavirus pandemic? Oh, yes, Danielle got it. New code plaque. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so... If you just hopped on, mucoid plaque is the crap that literally just builds up in your gut and doesn't move out very quickly. And as you build up more mucoid plaque or as you have a higher population of fungus, also known as candida, which we all are born with naturally, the problem is when we get gut, dis gut dysbiosis, meaning the bad pathogens start to overpopulate the gut, then we have the issues of constipation. We have a higher likelihood of other digestive problems. And and then we have the higher likelihood of the parasites and the other pathogenic bacteria taking over. Do you see how this is all related to moving the bowels? Okay, so um, back to what I was sharing about the parasites is if you have weird symptoms, uh, you can't lose weight, you have headaches, you have emotional ups and downs that are kind of crazy and not normal for you, reflect back on your life and ask yourself, um, did I travel internationally? Did I get a stomach bug? Um, you, there's all kinds of things that you can look at that might lead you to the awareness that parasites could be overgrowing in your body. <laughs> and the other problem is with Western medicine, our testing is so poor when it comes to that. And I'm sorry, but a lot of the videos that I do lately when I go online, I do mention parasites and I do get people say, why do you have to talk about that gross stuff? We do thrive, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Part of life is having the gross stuff, okay? Everybody poops. Hopefully, you're doing it twice a day. Um, everybody is going to be exposed to parasites, and depending on your immune system, you'll either fight them off or they'll grow in you. And then when your immune system is weak, they will grow in greater numbers. That's exactly what happened to me because I had the breast implants, which poisoned my body. And then we lived in a moldy house, which poisoned me even more. So, of course, things were rough. Um, also... I don't, I don't think I can say this out loud without someone reporting me to compliance, but if you know what the C word is, I don't know if this is backwards for you, but if you know what the C word is, there's a lot of people that are connecting the parasites to that. So you, that may be something you want to learn about. And you all know that lately I've been talking about Q. Some people are um, messaging me with some very bad messages uh, because they feel like I shouldn't represent that. I'm not saying I represent that. I am saying that you need to think for yourself and ask questions. So if you don't know what that is, Maybe you better do some research. If you're gonna do some research, go to a new search engine called DuckDuckGo because they are not being censored like Google. Google is 
don't use Google. Um, Google is censoring and Facebook is censoring. And so if you want to ask questions and go and find the answers, then you got to start digging in. And I'm going to keep dropping you little hints along the way. Um, I'm gonna be going live tomorrow at two o'clock central time, so put this on your calendar. I'm probably going to do a Zoom so that we can all see each other. I did one this morning with my sister and we did a dance party with our kids. Um, I'm also going to be, I just did a post, if you guys will go to my news feed and comment with how I can support you because um, I have been an alternative thinker. I have left mainstream. Uh, it's been more than a decade. We have been prepped, you guys. We are prepped um, for at least a six month crash of everything. Um, the crazy thing is I am caught now in Hawaii away from my husband and all of our preparations back in Montana. And so we're, I'm, I'm here with our friends Seth and Nicole and their kids and we're prepped together. Um, if you don't know what Q is, you're going to have to do some digging in. You can message me. I'll send you some resources. You can ask questions and uh, take what resonates for you. But it's kind of crazy. Um, you may or may not have heard that there was an earthquake in outside of Salt Lake City today. There are some theories around that and I just posted it on my Instagram stories. You can check that there if you want to learn more. Um, yeah, there's just, okay. So there's so many coincidences happening right now. How many times does something have to happen before it's no longer a coincidence in the sense that it would be mathematically impossible for it to be a coincidence? Does anyone get what I'm pick, picking up what I'm laying down here? Um, basically, if it's not a conspiracy theory, I don't want part of it because <laughs> I don't believe mainstream media. <laughs> and I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of ready for new perspectives. I'm asking questions. I'm not judging. I'm being open-minded and I invite you to do the same to whatever degree and um, whatever that means for you. And there's some dark stuff when it comes to all this behind the scenes thing. Uh, so you might be repulsed. I know that I am, but I'm continuing to just ask questions and to pursue that. So anyway, tomorrow, when we go live, we're not talking about the deep dark stuff. We're not gonna talk about Q. We're going to be talking about how I can support you, either whether that's building an online business so that you have financial security, whether that's which products that you need to support your family. Yes, I'm gonna reference our Thrive products, but I can also uh, point you towards products that you could use to prevent or treat if you pick up this virus, okay? And I can't guarantee that they'll work because nobody knows, nobody really knows. These are just based on what I've learned in the past year and a half and how I have learned to support my immune system from being sick and non-functional and picking up every little thing every two weeks to now being pretty solid and um, like I can feel something coming on. I take my, my go-to regimen and I feel better. So would you guys be interested in that at all? Um, would you be interested in some more homeschool tips? Tips, how to reduce stress, how to um, create more peace and calm for not only yourself, but for your, for your family. And also, would you be interested in how um, some guidance and how to show up not only in your community, but how to show up online for your online community? Um, if that's a yes and you guys are interested in this, I will post, make sure you click follow this post. Um, I will post on this live video when I have all of the information ready for you to join in the live tomorrow. And the live tomorrow will be at two o'clock. So we're no um, crazy runs on Costco for our family because we already had those things in stock. Well, that's not really true because I'm in Hawaii, like I said. Rob didn't have to because he has all that stuff at home. Um, but because of our experiences, I was able to be ready and I knew what we needed. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I just want to, I don't want to get anything out of this. Literally, I just want to teach you. And my um, previous experience is teaching and now leading
we finish up with this video, what I want you all to do is just close your eyes for a quick minute. I'm gonna lead you in a meditation and hopefully before all the kids come in. Okay, so close your eyes. You guys, you girls do this too. Okay, come stand by me and they can see you on the video. <laughs> the girls are here. Um, so we got our girls here. So we're just gonna close our eyes. If you want to just put your hands together, you can do that as well. But basically what I want you to do is take a deep breath in. Exhale slowly. Take another deep breath in. All the way down to your belly button. Exhale slowly. And now envision a white ball of light at your heart center. This white ball of light with each breath that you take will expand beyond your body. You can even put your hands out like this as if you're holding a ball. And I want you to feel the energy that's between your hands. You might feel some warmth or tingling as you breathe in and breathe out. Let this white ball of light expand larger and larger until it is encircling your entire body. Here come the boys, so let me pause. We're doing a meditation. Will you tell the other boys to be quiet as they come in, please? Okay, so this is homeschooling. <laughs> we just do what we do. And this breath in, we take again to get recentered. And I want you to start to take this into your daily life where when you breathe in deeply and you envision this white ball of light surrounding you, this is love. This is everything that's possible in the universe for you. It is always there at your fingertips. And now envision the angels of light and love as they are standing before you, behind you, above you, below you, and they are gazing upon you with loving faces. Imagine the angels always surrounding you, always securing you, and always helping you to make the best decision for you in this moment, for your family, to remind you that you are love and light, and that you are limitless in possibility. And all of these things, all of this chaos can be happening around you, but this white ball of light surrounds you and the angels of love surround you and you are calm. You are at peace. You are present. And in this moment, repeat to yourself, I am safe. I am loved. I am at peace. And now take this energy that you feel that is limitless, limitless, and send it out into the world. Right now, it's just send it out to the people that you know are hurting, the people that you know are confused, the people that you know are suffering. And they may be suffering alone, as we have discovered is happening to the patients that have the virus in the, in the intensive care units. Send them your love. Send it to each person that's watching this video now. And let that light and love fill every part of your body. A couple more breaths in. We're going to breathe in that light and love. We're going to expel any darkness, any fear, and any doubt as you exhale. Breathe it in again. Exhale any fear and doubt and just let it all go and breathe it in again and seal yourself in knowing that you are full of love. Thank you for joining us in this meditation. I hope that you have enjoyed our time together and we will see you again tomorrow at two o'clock central time. If you're late to today's video, please just watch the replay and be sure to type replay if that's you and um, we'll see you live tomorrow. I cannot wait, okay? I cannot wait. We love you guys. Let's Bye. say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Blow a kiss. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.